What's up, everybody? This is Pastor Al for Power Kids. I'm checking out. I got one on a special shirt today. I want you to read it. Listen, look at what it says. Can you see it? Yeah. It says, They will soar on wings like eagles. And it gives the scripture right there. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. And you can take your time and you can look that scripture up and you can read it for yourself. We're going to get ready to get started with the show. Y'all ready? Let's go! All right, all right, y'all know what time it is. It is time to pray. So at this time, we're going to have uh, Brother AJ. He's going to come in and he's going to do the prayer for us. Go ahead, Brother AJ. Our Father, whose art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now we're going to have little Elena Phillips way back in 2012 to do the 23rd Psalms. Go, Elena. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me to stand in still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me to path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I feel no evil. For thou with me, and I ride not stand. Cover me. I put a table before me in the presence of my enemy. I know it, my hand with oil, my cup running over. So we give the mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I dwell in a house of the Lord forever. Amen. Power kids, power kids, praise the name of the Lord, y'all. God bless you. Look, check out my hat, y'all. It says, Good life good life and we're going to be talking about life today because life is a very precious thing if you if you are breathing and you do me a favor do me a favor right now close your eyes and just breathe if you just breathe the bible says let everything that have breath Praise the Lord. And let me tell y'all something. Just to have life is precious. And we just uh, had a serious situation that happened with George Floyd. And George Floyd lost his life. But in the midst of that battle, there was something wonderful that came out of that whole situation. And one of the people that I really admire that came out of that situation is a guy by the name of Kedron Brian, Key John Bryant, and he came up with a wonderful song, and we got a wonderful story about him. And what I want you guys to understand is that when you are obedient to your parents and obedient to the Lord, miracles would happen. And uh, so he has a wonderful testimony that was on the Today Show. I want you to hear it because miracles happen in this young man's life. And I want y'all to understand is that God is good all the time. So. Check out this news story right quick. The reaction to the death of George Floyd has taken many forms in the week that's followed, but one powerful, beautiful, yet heartbreaking performance has grabbed a lot of attention. 
I'm a young black man Doing all that I can To stand Oh, but when I look around And I see what's being done to my kind Every day I'm being hard to this prey My people don't want no trouble We've had enough strong goals I just want to live I'm a young don't forget that name. This is 12-year-old gospel singer Kedron Bryant. That song, by the way, written by his mom, Jeanette, it's been viewed nearly three million times on his Insta page. It's been reposted by, well, just President Obama, LeBron James, so many others. Kedron and Jeanetta are joining us this morning. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Okay, first of all, we need you today. We need you every day, but we especially need you today. And Kedron, I want to talk to you in a second. But first, Miss Jeanetta. Yeah. You wrote this song. It came from deep in your soul. What made you put those words on paper? In light of everything that is going on, um, especially our recent situation, when I heard Mr. Floyd call out for his mom, as a black mother, that really hit me in a deep way. And I began to pray. Um, and so I, I said, God, this world needs help like never before. Uh, so I went into meditation because I needed understanding. I needed, I needed strength because I also knew that I need to be able to give my son some wisdom that's going to help him to be able to live and to um be confident in this world and I knew that that it could only come from God because um, I understand that we're in a spiritual this, this fight is spiritual as well and so uh, I went into prayer and, and God spoke to me and he gave these words to me and you you wrote those words down and you gave those words to your son and you told him to go upstairs yes and what did yes. you ask him to do um, you know, our kids are home, you know, for the quarantine and I always make a schedule for them to follow, um, as if they're in school. And part of that schedule is devotion. So I sent him up during his devotion time and I said, Kedron, I want you to pray over these words. I want you to meditate on them, allow God to speak to you, uh, so that you may be able to speak to the people. And also get some encouragement for yourself. So um, he went into his own devotion time. Um, and he, yeah, he came back um, after his devotion. And he's like, Mom, I'm ready. Oh, you are ready. You are ready, Kedron. You are ready in that moment. When you sing this song, I, I'm wondering, what are you, you feel these words. This isn't about singing a song. This is what you, what are you feeling while you're singing those words? Um, well, I felt sad that I have to sing that because um, it's unfair that we can go out and like the song says, live. I just want to live. So we can't go out and enjoy life and not be afraid and fear that something's going to happen to us. So it was really sad um, to have that feeling. Do you, do you, when you ask God for things, and I know you do, what do you ask him for? Um... I ask him to give me anointing, um, to give me power to uh, minister to the people, um, even on my side and on the other side of the phone, um, to touch lives and impact them. Well, you're doing it. You've impacted President Obama. He called you powerful. LeBron James said he loved you. Nas said you were dope. Uh, Janet Jackson, <laughs> Eva Longoria, Beyonce's mom. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You've impressed so many. I don't know if you like to sing in the morning from Florida. Do you? Um, yes, ma'am. Would you sing a little for us? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I just want to leave. God protects me. I just want to live, I just want to live. I'm all by myself, but I'm applauding you here. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Kedron. Thank you, Janetta. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. OK, keep singing. Keep singing. The world needs you. And Janetta, we need you, too. You know, Jesus said in John 10 and 10, he says, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That's what Jesus said. So Jesus comes into your life to give you the good life. God bless you.